Hi everyone and welcome to How Our Garden Grows. In this video, I want to cover sowing artichoke seeds from seed and growing them into transplants early enough so that you can transplant them outside in your zone. Now, in Colorado Zone 5, this is probably about the right time. We're at the near the end of December. This is probably about the right time that you want to get them in so that you can attempt to get a harvest in the summertime as they grow. So a couple of things about artichokes. They really are not a zone five crop. Um, they are a perennial and there's some information on this seed pack, for example. Uh, so basically they're a perennial in zones seven through 10. You can grow them in as, as an annual. It's a little bit more challenging, which we're gonna talk about, especially because these will be pretty much grown as annuals. Um, but there's, there's a process to making sure that they actually fruit. So um, they do take quite a bit of time to get going. Uh, it's planting so indoors eight to 12 weeks before the last spring frost date. So we're still a little bit earlier in that, but that's okay. You can't really start these early enough. In my opinion, you can keep transplanting these up I'll show you an example here. Whoop, <laughs> almost knocked it over. That scared me. Uh, Colorado Star, which is the variety that I'm growing, sown two months ago. So 1028 and pretty nice looking plants here. I'm really happy, especially with this new growth. I can tell that it's really taking off. Some of the older beat up leaves, I may try to spray this. It looks like, you know, we may have some... Um, something here, which I'm not really excited about potentially spreading, uh, but some spot damage there. So we'll give that a spray and treat that. But look at how nice the uh, the newer leaves look. I mean, they're just really nice and green. Uh, the sh new shoots, right, growing conditions under grow lights. So I'm getting new leaf growth here and the roots are probably establishing. Even so, I probably need to transplant plant this into a larger cup to really keep this plant going and keep it controlled. Keeping it fertilized as well. Artichokes do require quite a bit of fertilizer, so I'm gonna really try to get uh, as much growth in these. That was the purpose of starting them way earlier uh, to try to get a jump on the, the growth process. Now, why do you wanna do this? Well, artichokes are a perennial, but they, seed and set fruit more so as a biennial. And so basically biennials will try to up their plant growth in the entire first year. So a lot of people try to grow artichokes as annuals, right? And they see a lot and lot of leaf growth and they get huge. They get, you know, maybe like three feet by three feet wide or larger. And then no fruits appear and then people are disappointed. And then, you know, if you're in a cold zone, like I am in zone five, then they die back. You don't know how to treat them, try to overwinter them, and then you're starting all over again. And so people tend to get disappointed. And the reason for that is, is, and this seed pack is really, really great. I love this, important cold treatment, vernalization. Time transplanting so that the plants receive 10 days of temperatures around 45 to 50 degrees. So essentially what this means, vernalization, and this is a good intro to vernalization, is these plants require a cooling period to stimulate the plant to, to make it think that it has survived through an entire winter. And this is a natural process that takes place in more temperate zones like California, where we get most of our artichoke crop. So what happens is, is during the winter, it doesn't freeze. So these plants can still survive as perennials, but at the same time, you get this chilling process that then allows the plant to realize, okay, I've gone through a winter. When the temperatures warm back up, then the plants 
will come back with vigor. They have strong root systems. Then they will come back with a vengeance and produce the fruit. So that is exactly what we're trying to emulate here. A couple of different things I'm gonna try this year. Um, these are gonna actually go in my garage pretty soon. My garage never freezes, but it does sometimes get down into the 40s and the 50s, which is really what I want. I want to kind of slow down the growth. I have some grow lights in there that I want to just kind of keep these going, simulating that we're in a more of a winter pattern. And then gradually I wanna bring these plants as they're larger, keep transplanting them up. I wanna bring them outdoors and uh, I'll take you through this process as we, we get closer to the spring. We're gonna bring them out on some sunny, sunny days, get them hardened off. And that's a process also that we'll, we'll talk about getting them used to the outdoor elements, you know, sun, wind, cooler temperatures, uh, fluctuating temperatures, that sort of stuff that um, is not the same as growing in more of a temperate, even in the garage, even though it gets warmer and cooler, it's a lot more temperate and regulated. So um, we'll get them used to those type of environments and really toughen up these plants. Now, a couple other things. I am using, again, the specific variety here, the Colorado Star Artichoke. Funny enough, I'm in Colorado, zone five. So what this variety does, it's bred specifically to do well as an annual in Colorado with vernalization. You still have to practice vernalization. If you don't, you're still going to come up with the same results as, as any type of artichoke plant, right? Which is why we're starting these early. So these are, ex these are experiments. I wanted to see about doing these earlier. I'm gonna do a few more. I feel really good about these plants, so I'm only gonna do maybe a couple more. Maybe I'll change my mind, um, but we'll go through some of that process together of how we seed them. So let's just start with seeding real quick. So seed packet says quarter of inch deep. So like I do with any sort of starting seeds, um, I'm using these, again, styrofoam cups. I do this sometimes. Sometimes I use the seed cells. I like this, especially for these, because I already know that I'm going to be able to leave them in here for quite a period of time. Again, two months I left these in here, and they're looking great with, with fertilization, regular care, pruning of the older leaves. You can see I pruned that one off there. They should be totally fine, spending a good couple of months at least in these uh, smaller styrofoam cups to get started. So here's what the seeds look like, and they're they're pretty small, um, but they just basically look like this. Now, I would typically do two seeds uh, per hole. Now these, because this is a hybrid variety, the Colorado Star, I do wanna make sure that I save some of these because they do uh, last a few years. And I just want to make sure that I don't waste them. They're a little bit more pricier when you get to that range. Um, I did end up thinning a few of these out, which is a little bit of a waste. But I wanted to make sure that I got a jump and I got a couple of plants that I really uh, felt really good about. So we're going to go ahead and plop these in. There we go. Again, you don't have to bury things. It's a quarter of an inch deep, which is not that deep. And these can take about a week or two to fully germinate. So make sure that you be patient. They will pop up, especially with soil temperatures uh, being where they should. Now, these plants are still, they're not cool season plants. They germinate best at 70 to 80 degrees. So you, we're, we're a little bit more in the pepper zone range for them to actually germinate. So sometimes a heat mat will aid them to germinate a little bit quicker. They will still germinate just a little bit slower if you do choose to not use a heat mat there. So here we go. Those are all sown. Thanks so much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you wanna follow me through the whole process of getting these vernalized, uh, going through that full fertilization process, and then we'll also get to transplanting outdoors and 
work with regular maintenance and care for getting the most growth out of these so that we can hopefully harvest artichokes in uh, the next uh, late summer. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out our other YouTube videos. Thanks again.